Hello G fans, Steve Blackard here again and uh, with another update on the Dana 18 transfer case that I'm working on. Uh, I got some more progress done. I want to show you where I'm at and uh, still waiting on some more things to come in, but uh, show you where I'm at here now. So uh, what I've done is I've got the front bearing cap installed. I've got the cone bearings in place and the big thing is setting up the shimming for the rear bearing cap. Now the guides that I've read, basically they, they, they recommend starting with about 60,000 shims, measuring the end play, and then taking shims out till you sneak up on that magic number of anywhere from two to six, two to eight thousandths of end play. Well, I tried that and it turns out uh, I needed more shims than that. Uh, so I ended up tightening it up too much. So I had to take the front bearing cap off uh, and tap the, the, bear, the rear bearing race back out a little bit more, reassemble it, and add some more shims. So I started out with 110 thousandths of shims and started sneaking up on it. And I ended up using 97 thousandths of shims. And I don't know how well you can see the, those are the shims right down there where my finger is. Um, I used about 97 thousandths. Now, uh, another fellow over on the CJ2A forum that I've been uh, corresponding with is building his case also and he ended up using 104,000. So I'm not sure if it's the current crop of uh, Timken brand bearings, nothing wrong with them, but they just seem, it just seems like we're needing a little bit more clearance in the guide. So I would just caution anybody assembling them, maybe start out with more shims, you know, over 100, you know, I think and I used 110,000 to get started on it uh, and then start sneaking up. That is, if you have too few, you press the, the bearing race in too far and then you can't, you don't, you don't have any in play. So you want the race out uh, and to slowly tighten up on it. So anyway, I used, uh, I ended up with 97 thousandths uh, for my shim pack. Now I haven't done the final torque on it yet. Uh, I need, because this is CJ2A, I need to install the parking brake drum on it. And it mounts using the same bolts that torque the rear bearing cap on. And I'm waiting for a brake lever uh, to come, which hopefully come today, depending on what time the snowstorm arrives. Uh, once I get the lever, then I can put the, the parking brake on and I can do the final torque on this and uh, have it done. Now, actually, before I torque it, though, I need to take those, take it back off, and I got to take all the shims out, and then I will spray them with some of the copper coat. Each shim gets a coat, a thin coat of copper coat on each side of it, uh, and then it's reassembled, and so it won't leak through those shims. Um, and just to show you a couple of the other things that I'm using here from the copper coat, uh, I'm using this is Permatex thread sealant for all the uh, the bolts that penetrate the case. Uh, put a little bit of that on all those bolts so no oil works its way through the threads. And Permatex aviation gasket sealer for the gaskets. Uh, for some of the gaskets, I use a copper coat on some of the, of the shims here. Also have the uh, transmission assembly goo, which is uh, it's like a grease, but it melts at a very low temperature, so it'll dissolve as soon as it starts running uh, and and blend in with the oil. So real important to use that, not regular regular uh, wheel bearing grease. Um, one other thing I want to show you: uh, in order to seat the um, the seals, now I'm using these double lip seals, and I've got these machine bushing spacers that I. I think I told you about earlier, they're about 77 thousandths. It'll space the bushing out where I want, or the seal out where I want it. I made a seal driver uh, just out of a simple piece of two inch PVC with a cap. So when I put the seals in, in each end, this will slip over the shaft and then I can just tap on that with a dead blow mallet just to seat the seals in. So a simple little seal driver uh, out of a couple of dollars worth of PVC pipe. So. Uh, so that's where I'm at. Uh, hopefully I'll get that brake lever in today and maybe this afternoon or tomorrow I'll go ahead and assemble and, and get this all torqued up and uh, I'll have the whole uh, output shaft finished. And um, then I'm kind of at a standstill though because I'm still waiting for the intermediate shaft to come from Novak and they're back ordered on it uh, so it might be a couple of weeks. So uh, after I get the output shaft done I'm probably going to have to set this over, over to the side and work on other things until that comes in. So that's where I'm at. So uh, I don't know where about you're at, but we've got a big snowstorm coming here, uh, going to hit this afternoon, this evening. So uh, I took the Air Raid Warden Jeep out this morning for a little spin just to get a little drive in, and uh, maybe I'll get it out uh, after the snow. Uh, but in the meantime, I can stay in the shop here and work on, uh, on this and uh, have some fun here. So get out and drive them Jeeps, and if not, work on those Jeeps, but enjoy them one way or the other. Talk to you all later. Bye.